Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Sanctuality. In this juicy pick a card reading, I'm going to be letting you know the channeled love messages from this person on your mind. It could be someone you're in a relationship with, your ex, someone you're still pining after, someone you have a crush on, your baby daddy, whoever, whatever, what have you, okay? Now, this can apply to if this person is currently holding back, if you're in no contact with them, or if they're just a terrible communicator and you feel like there's something on the top tip of their tongue that they're not saying, I'm going to be letting you know what that is, okay? So, we've got this deck here for pile number one. This deck for pile number two. And this deck for pile number three. Now, I know I got some freaking leaks in my collective, y'all. So, a lot of y'all are going to be drawn to pile number three. But as always, watch other piles if you feel drawn to them or all of them if you feel called to do so, okay? And if you would like to come into this space and book a private reading with me, the link is available in the description. You guys can still use code SPIRIT for a special discount off of your first or next session with me. And we do have 18 plus sessions where we talk about some some real raunchy things, you know, if you really want to get down with the get down on that type of level, okay? So, without further ado, let's begin. Hey, Pal One. So stay tuned until the end of your reading. I'm going to be answering any yes or no question on your mind using this card here. Okay. So before we get into the channeled messages from this person on your mind, let's dive a little bit deeper. Spirit, show me the future, show me a future vision of this connection that you want the collective and how one to know about. Show me a future vision of this connection between them and this person on their mind. We've got the Knight of Cups. So I feel like in the future, and we'll do a deep, an even deeper dive on this topic in the future, but on a surface level, this Knight of Cups talks about this person opening up, showing you a, a, a more softer side to themselves. And I feel like I'm seeing this, this thing here, Tristan. I'm picking up on Tristan Thomas, Khloe Kardashian. So this is for a small group of you in Pile One. If you're wondering if you're going to have a baby by this person, for some of you, it's a yes. But it feels like it's going to stay in that baby mama, baby daddy type thing. You may even have more than one child with this person. That is for a small slither of you. I'm just getting that as a download with this in particular with that name Tristan popping up. Now, I feel like as well, a future vision just on a broader scale when it comes to your connection with this person is, I feel like you won't, you won't keep dealing with this person. I feel like even though the connection may seem like faint or fickle at times, I don't feel like this person is going to go anywhere. I feel like the feelings are, you, you need to know that the feelings are mutual and that is why this person is going to keep coming around you. I feel like this person is going to keep, like, it's not going to want to let you go. It's not going to want to, you know, even if y'all have y'all distant times, like, I feel like this person will always keep coming back to you unless you, like, really put an end to it because they really do like you. The feelings are mutual. Are they ready for a serious relationship? I mean, in theory, yes. When it comes to, like, thinking about it, yes. But in terms of putting the effort into it, this is kind of like a lazy lover type of thing. So I feel like the feelings, the future vision that I'm seeing on a broad scale is that the feelings are going to deepen between the two of you 
but this person is going to be in this lazy lover type of energy and it's going to constantly be putting the ball in your court is making something official is, is on your mind is is is, is something that you're wanting you're going to have to make that move you're going to have to say something because i feel like they're they're just going to be again in this lazy lover keeping the ball in your court you know because this person does have a shy side to them they do want a relationship but they're kind of a bit nervous about all that it would take to maintain a relationship like they question if they would be able to make you happy if they would be able to you know meet your expectations whether they that whether you vocalize them or not just there are certain expectations that this person thinks you have that they worry if they would be able to measure up to but let's clarify this energy i'm picking up for spirit tell me more about this future vision of their connection i'm seeing that this person is emotionally attached has feelings for my power number one and wants to keep seeing where things go and likes the idea of a relationship but it's gonna keep leaving the ball in their court we've got the seven of pentacles so the future vision is I feel like things are going to develop slow, like a, a little bit more slowly than you would want, but they are going to develop. I feel like y'all going to be dealing with each other for a long time. Like even if right now you feel like there's not a lot of hope or, you know, some of you may even be thinking if you should explore your other options or if this is just going to turn out like another disappointing love situation. Like, no, I feel like even if you entertain other people, there's something that's going to keep drawing y'all two together. So as well, another vision that I'm seeing in this connection is I feel like this person. Let me listen. This person is going to want to make things official, but if you leave the ball in their court, you're going to be waiting for a long time because I feel like their nerves are going to get the best of them. I, I keep hearing, will you be my girlfriend or, or like, what are we? Like somebody's trying to figure, I feel like this person may even be currently trying to figure out how to have that conversation, like how to tell you that they have feelings for you. And like, I, I just feel like there's a lot that this person wants to express to you, but they have a hard time like converting those feelings into actual sentences or text messages. They don't want to look as vulnerable as they feel, but in the future, I feel like you guys are going to keep dealing with each other, are going to keep feeling drawn to each other. And then as you're standing in each other's face on a literal level or a figurative level like both of y'all being like okay what now you know it's like the feelings and the fact that you both want a relationship with each other is going to continue to be an elephant in the room you both are going to continue putting the ball in that person's court and then they put the ball in your court like hot potato with the love here hot potato hot potato and i feel like nobody neither one of you is going to really say hey i want to make things official and we can always talk about what it would be like you know, if it were to go to that official type of level, if it would last or whatever, but I see this person wanting to make you their main thing, their main squeeze, their honey did, their girl, their man. Softening up around you, you know, letting their guard down. But on a grand level with this Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Because for me to get that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like, again, this person is going to, although they have anxiety about being in a relationship, I feel like they're going to give it a shot, but not in the way that you think. I don't know why, but I'm hearing Tanisha Kelly, I wish you loved me. Ooh, so yeah, the future vision is 
y'all are gonna be together y'all are gonna end up getting into a relationship but the timing is different for a lot of y'all and for a lot of y'all the timing is far far down the road because y'all both are gonna keep the fact that y'all want to be with each other as an elephant in the room as opposed to an open conversation that leads to it actually happening we'll do a deep dive on that in the future but i gotta keep going and I'm, i keep hearing tanisha kelly i wish you loved me so some of y'all y'all may be feeling like the the lyrics in that song like basically she's like you know, feeling like her love is unrequited, but it's not. The feelings are mutual. So we'll see what comes out in the cards. And I, I won't be shocked if once we get to the messages part, this person is reassuring you that they got feelings for you too. Because I'm, I'm feeling that very strongly with that Tanisha Kelly song. Okay, so what does this person want Pal wants to know right now? Your perfection. It says, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I am attracted to someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Now, I always figure that they're trying to say, I'm not sure how I attracted someone like you. So take that like that. But yeah, this is what this person wants you to know that like they don't. And again, this is echoing that sentiment that they like you just as much as you like them. They really do. What, what's, what has been this person's most recent thought of Power One? Recent conscious thought of Power One. The heat between us is intense. Mm. I'm feeling the need to pull another one. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. I don't know why it's not focusing properly. There we go. Yeah, so maybe this person didn't make you a priority at one point or another, and it, it, it caused some sort of a rift to occur between the two of you. But I feel like this person, nobody else has this attention, like this person's attention like you do for that um autofocus to be messing up in that moment okay so what turns this person on the most when how number one crosses their mind before we get into the channel love messages to you from this person because you know when when people hear our name or when we pop up in their head i thought it would be nice to give you a visual of like what really invigorates them when the image of you pops up in their mind, okay? So we've got sharp face, like how naturally pretty you are. For some of you, you got resting B face and it's like they, it just, you, you're a challenge. And usually they try to avoid people like that. They, they try to like avoid situations where they're going to have to put a whole lot of effort in to get the person's heart or to make the person want them and whatnot but i feel like you know with you maybe at one point they weren't down for the challenge down for you know putting in the effort but they're having a change of heart about that perspective of effort of trying of vulnerability despite the fact that you don't put up with their bs and you don't just let them like come and go as they please. Like, although you have feelings for this person, you also have boundaries. And at one point that was too big of a challenge for this person to want to deal with. So they may have behaved in a certain way that reflected that. But what I'm seeing is the most attractive thing about you is, you know, when you cross their mind is like how you, how tough you are, but also how sweet and gentle and loving you are. I'm getting that with this sharp face. Like somebody who looks mean, who looks cold, who looks like they don't have a lot of love to give, but you actually do. Like you have a very soft, sweet and tender side that 
this person has has been awakened to and wants to see more of and is really drawn to yeah mm-hmm all right so how one you were drawn to this deck here so i'm going to be pulling the cards reading them off and if more channeled messages come through in between, I will let you know, okay? But if not, we'll just read them off and leave it at that. So I hear the energy for power one. Hear the energy for power one. What are the channeled love messages to power one at this time? This is a timeless reading, guys. But what are the channeled messages to power one at this time from the person on their mind? I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. I want to have equal give and take with you. I failed to give you what you needed. I have never felt a passion this intense. I am always longing for you. I haven't told you everything. Wake up with this focus. We have too many differences. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Uh -oh. I left when things got hard. I see your side of the story. I should have expressed myself better. I don't want to run anymore. I don't, I didn't act when I should have. Yeah, this person. If this some if there was some sort of a third party interference here, like they feel like such a fool. If not, it's like this person is trying to muster up the courage to be like transparent with you about how they feel and where they may have gone wrong. I'm struggling to find the right path. You're a better person than I am. You make this person think about things that they don't ever really think about, like life, who they want to be, what makes them happy. Like you, a lot of people don't really touch this person or affect this person on an emotional level. I don't know if it's about like the com the, the level of conversations that y'all do have, just like how you make them feel when they're around you, but it's like you have a real deep effect on this person emotionally. And this person may have a really extremely blocked heart chakra, but I feel like this person, you, you've you activated something within this person's heart chakra or even may have, have cleared out some sort of a blockage that like no one else that they've encountered was able to remove the blockage to their heart space enough even for them to even catch feelings like, this person is shocked that they even caught feelings for you, not due to you, but due to them. I'm getting that very strongly. <clears throat> Regret. I wish this never happened. Yeah, if they hurt you, like, it bothers them. 
if, if you're displaying signs of not being happy, of, of feeling like disappointed, like they see it and it affects them. I want to call you and hear your voice. This person wants to make things better, wants to see you smile. Do you see how she's going from like sadness to happiness here? Like this person wants to put a smile on your face, wants to do something to just like make you want to stay with them. I wish I could right my wrongs. I need three more spirits. I knew it was a third party situation. It says there were other things that got in the way of us being together. They're seeing things more clearly now. Whether they want to, to have a conversation about the level of accountability that they are coming to terms with, that they should take regarding this third party situation or just y'all's connection in general, it's like there's, there's more accountability. Like they're taking accountability. Like they, they know that they were wrong if, if they did something to mislead you or to lead you on or, or you know, like chose someone else over you for superficial reasons and whatnot like they they know like they feel like they did you dirty like you didn't deserve whatever they may have done in the recent or distant past to make you lose hope in them and th this connection if that's your story and and with that message of focus that kept coming out like i feel like this person kept getting distracted kept putting you on the back burner and i feel like they feel like they feel stupid for being dishonest with you, if that is the case. It says, by lying, I ripped us apart. I feel like this person thinks a lot about how things were when things were good or or when, when y'all first connected, when, when the trust was there, when you like had your guard down. A lot of y'all got y'all's guard, guard up with this person. And it's like this person wants to... Like, make you trust them again, love them again, want them again, forgive them. Yeah. And the final message, I let my pride get in the way of our connection due to ego. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other reading on the channel that details what this person wants to happen next in this connection. I'll either have it linked in the comments or in the description for you. And if you want to know your future love story, I'll have that linked in the description as well, okay? So, take a deep breath for me. Think of any question on your mind. And in a second, I'll let you know, yes or no. You ready? Okay. We've got Queen Mother Nanny, Liberation. This is a yes. Thank you, Pile One. Watch another pile if you felt drawn to it. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That way it can be passed around to other people who need the messages. And, oh, I don't know. Did I say subscribe, honey? I don't know. I need my energy drink right now. But if you haven't subscribed and you like the vibe here, <laughs> hit subscribe so you'll know when I drop new content. And check out the other readings by clicking on the live and shorts tab, okay? Bye, Tower. Hi, Tower 2. So stay tuned until the end of your reading. I'm going to be answering any yes or no question on your mind based on this card here, okay? So, before we get into the channeled love messages from this person on your mind, Spirit, show me a future vision of this connection that you want my power to, to know about. Show me a future vision of this connection between them and the person on their mind. Ooh, this card right here. Wow. Okay, so we've got... The world card in this deck, it is called Triumph. Let me listen. I'm seeing a long-term relationship between you and this person, one that is built on fidelity, monogamy, trust, 
healing, mutual understanding, reciprocating energy. You may want to do your research on the love story between Dionysus and what is it? Ar Ariande? Look, uh, honey, look, you look at the spelling down there at the bottom. Right here. There may be some sort of a, an additional message there about their love story as well. But I feel like you guys, okay, so you guys were, were this is a faded connection. If you were drawn to another pal, please watch it because I'm getting, I'm picking up on a similar, similar message. But I see you guys going old together, knowing each other in old age. Whether that means you guys are married, you know, this is a faded connection. Y'all, y'all gonna know each other in old age. I'm, I'm hearing that like very powerfully in my spiritual ear. Fading connection. Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is your future spouse or maybe even a future second spouse, okay? Because I can't deny that the Queen of Swords represents a di divorced woman or a widowed woman. But I feel like this is, uh, this is a lifelong connection. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like in a shaky energy. It's that powerful. This is a lifelong connection. Like y'all, because there's some sort of a soul, y'all have a soul tie with this person. And I'm hearing till death do us part. I feel like for some, mm, it's something to it. It's something to it for this emperor to pop out here. For some of you, the differences between the two of y'all may keep y'all at odds or in separation or something like that. For some of you, I'm picking up on this is a twin flame and you're going to come into union with this person. You're fated to come into union with your twin flame. And I'm seeing a vision of it being this person. You may think that someone else is your twin flame. Or you may be in some sort of a rejection of this person as your twin flames because be, twin flame because of some sort of differences, anger or grudge that you may be holding or something like this. But I'm just picking up on the energy of a woman who's mad at a man and who's like denouncing this man. But she needs to know, not for all of you, that that is her twin flame. And you can't get rid of your twin flame. Yeah, it's something to it with this Diablo energy. Like, you stuck with this person. Doesn't mean you can't meet other people, but, and here we are, come, here we are with this empress. So we have the emperor, and here we are with the empress. Why is it not focusing? Here we go. Ooh, this energy is very, very strong. Let me, let me continue clarifying, because there's something deeper here. But on a broad level, the future vision that I am seeing is y'all growing old together. That through all the ups and downs, y'all both going to be in runner energy towards each other off and on for a while. This may have even been the story up until now, but this is who you're going to end up being with in the end. And whatever way that manifests is how it's going to manifest. And in some truth, because here's this Ten of Cups. This person may be like in player energy, having you in this Queen of Swords energy. You know, some way, somehow the universe is conspiring behind the scenes to get y'all two to be together because it's a fated connection. And for some of you, because this is your twin flame. And y'all are destined to come into union. But it's very possible that that may be after a series of a lot of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Two of cups. 
I feel like once once y'all finally get on the same page to where y'all both are actually ready for what this connection could be, I see it being long term. And I see y'all going O together. On the other side of the spectrum, I feel like a lot of differences, a lot of difficulties and challenges are going to get in the way of y'all being in the, in the type of relationship that you hope to have with them or that you thought you were going to have with them or think you're going to have with them. Like a lot of things are going to get in the way. But in the grand scheme of things, again, the universe is going to be conspiring behind the scenes in the evenings to get you two together. And once it does happen, whether it happens sooner or later, it's going to last long term. And if it happens later in life, it's just simply saying that this is who you're going to grow old with. And this person may go before you do, leaving you as a widow. I know that sounds very, like, morbid, but, you know, this is what I'm seeing. Mm, my goodness. We'll do a deep dive on that in the future, but it's very saying keep going. All right, so and you'll get more messages when you watch another power power too. So I hear the energy. What does this person want my power number two to know right now? This is a timeless reading. What do they want power two to know right now? That they're sorry. It says, I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all of the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. So this Queen of Swords is looking like current energy for a lot of y'all. So I am seeing some sort of reconciliation and things, the connection and relationship improving for the better and having a high level of long-term potential with this world card showing and depicting the future vision of the connection. Now the timeline is different for all of y'all because y'all are different people, obviously. But I am seeing some sort of reconciliation and progress being made in this connection. I'm not seeing reconciliation and then going on the same, you know, roundabout, merry-go-round of challenges and heartache and same old, same old. Like, I see things, like, progressing, improving after a time of separation leading to this reconciliation that I'm seeing. For some of you, this reconciliation will lead to marriage, will lead to some sort of a twin flame union, will lead to you both going down your own path that will eventually lead you both to one another again later in life and later in age, and then you both growing old together. It's different for all of you. Okay, so what was this person's most recent thought of my pal number two? Ooh. Okay, so we've got, my goodness, all these cards. We've got, I'm obsessed with you. Hold on, y'all. Why can't I move on from you? Mm. This person is like, let me, let me listen to what I'm hearing. I'm hearing an echo of a song. What is this? can't make it out whatever this song is spirit clarify what is this <gasps> i only got four minutes to say what i gotta say to make you stay <laughs> listen to avant four minutes yes the way i have treated you was wrong I can't stop thinking about you. Will this pain ever stop? Yeah, listen to Avant for a minute. Yeah, this person's in their feelings. If they hurt you, it, it has ricocheted back onto this person's spirit and psyche. Mm-hmm. I can't handle your love. I feel lonely. Lonely without you, if y'all are in some sort of a separation, if you have cut them off in one way or another with this uh, Queen of Swords energy, like, mm, if, if you are absent from this person's life, know that it is very much so felt, okay? 
But yeah, I'm here in Kazan four minutes. So, what turns this person on the most when my power number two crosses their mind? I thought it was nice to add this in here because, you know, when, when someone hears your name or the thought of you pops up in their mind and they see a visual of you, I wanted to show you what it is that stands out to mo the most to this person when that happens, okay? So what turns this person on the most when my pal number two crosses their mind? Wow, confirmation, twin flame. Whether they know this lingo or know what the hell that means or not, they could just simply view you as a soulmate, whether they're a spiritual type of person or not. Like, love of their life type of thing. Like, eat. Their, their first true love, even if they thought they were in love before, even if y'all aren't talking, even if they act like an a-hole, when you cross this person's mind, the thing that turns them on the most is the, the passion between the two of you, like you as a whole. Now, this is a features deck, right? So for all, all of these cards that could have popped out about like features, you didn't get that. Instead, you got the twin flame. So it's you, everything about you. From the freckle on your cheek to the highlighting your hair to your perfume, the the pep in your step, the way you, you style your hair, the way you love to wear that certain color, like just everything about you, everything about you stands out and turns this person on like when, when when you cross their mind or when they hear your name or they come across your your social media page or something like that it's like you invigorate this person but on a physical features type of level it's your eyes you have beautiful eyes to this person whether you think you have beautiful eyes or not whether they're dark in color or not but it's like you have very like piercing eyes very like they're very drawn to your eyes. I'm thinking about how that, and that's very fitting with this for, for this card to be your indicator of your yes or no. Um, but very beautiful eyes. And I'm thinking about how they say the eyes are the windows to the soul as confirmation. So yeah, very beautiful eyes. But all in all, what turns them on is just you. Personality, all types of stuff, okay? So let's get into these messages from this person on your mind, Cal, too. Now, I'm going to just be reading off the messages. If channeled messages pop up and are intertwined in between it, I'll let you know. But if not, we'll just read it off, okay? So I clear the energy for Cal, too. I clear the energy for Cal, too. What are the channeled love messages to how to from this person on their mind at this time and again remember this is a timeless reading wow i had a crush on you from the very start why is it there we go well this is a blank one You are my light in the darkest times. Yeah, for a lot of you, this really is your twin. Not for all of you. But it says, I'm showing you your wounds and things you need to work on. As a side note, and this is how I know it's really your twin and not a false twin. For this person that you're really thinking about or this is your real twin interrupting this reading like you may be mad at your real twin or think something may have gotten in the way of you and your real twin i, I want y'all to really hear me baby some may have really gotten in between the way of you and your real, real twins connection and you may be thinking someone that you came to this reading for is your actual twin but that person may in fact be a false twin and you may be unknowingly in separation from your real twin. 
and this is your real twin messages about your real twin follow me if you know the knowledge you know the talk but if, if you know you only dealing with one person and you know that's your person and whatnot you disregard that but that message that i just said was for somebody and and before i continue the reason why i know your your real twin is communicating to you through this reading whether you came here for this person or not is because when i do readings on myself about my actual twin this always pops out as confirmation and my experience with my real twin was like you gonna have a spiritual awakening with your real twin like they really like a lot of people think like the person that they're with is their twin the person that's chasing them is their twin like sometimes the universe puts you and your twin in separation because y'all really got some shit to learn before y'all can be next to each other on a frequency level because that shit is powerful for two real twin flames to be standing next to each other and living together and building together and creating together whether it's life or the future together whatever we'll talk more about it in the future but for a lot of y'all y'all need to know y'all real twin flame which may very much so be somebody that is you may have lost contact with or you may be trying to use this current person that you have feelings for to get over or it was something but your real twin this is the message the messages from this person and it may very much so be someone different than you came to this reading for i have to say that okay let's keep going all right let's lock back in now that you know that information for whoever that was for what are the channel love messages it says i lack come on i lack courage to come back to you so yeah for some of you this is someone from your past or someone who you're in some sort of a no contact with whether a short time or long term no contact okay deep down my intentions with you have always been pure telling you some to it baby i will come back towards you when the time is right this is your real twin flame talking to you because some of y'all y'all may be in the midst of a karmic soulmate that you think is your twin but is in fact not and your twin is trying to let you know that that you think somebody is the one but you faded you got a faded connection with somebody else okay Your warmth radiates through your soul. I still feel attracted to you. I sometimes feel you deserve so much better than me. I wish I could feel your body close to mine. I've always been afraid of this love. I'm always with you in spirit. Mm. y'all saw how hard that popped out come on auto focus i know one day we will find our way back to each other i just heard spirit say mercury retrograde <laughs> so yeah okay i see why it's messing up okay so you are my total world again confirmation that if you are in separation or no contact with somebody, it ain't over, baby. Until the chunky lady sang and that chunky lady haven't sung yet, baby. Okay, it says, I will be there by your side when you're ready. Again, it's giving that to the death to us part. I can feel your presence even though we are apart. Mm, beautiful. 
letting you know. I want to come into alignment with you. I truly want to work on this connection. You may be getting messages from this person through your dreams, so pay attention, or through meditation, because I feel like this person is trying to con connect with you telepathically. It says, connect to me telepathically through meditation. Give me two more spirits. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mercury, quit playing with me. We are a perfect match made in heaven. One more. And lastly, I've been thinking about the last time I saw you. Beautiful. So, how to? I hope you enjoyed this reading. And be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. That way it can be passed around to other people who need these juicy messages. And subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified when I drop new content. And check out my other reading on the channel that details what this person wants to happen next. It'll be linked either in the comments or in the description, okay? Take a deep breath for me. Think of any question on your mind. And in a second, I'll let you know. Yes or no. Ready? We've got boundaries. This is a no. Thank you, pal number two. Again, watch another pal if you feel drawn to it, and I'll chit chat with you in that one or my next reading. Bye, baby. Oh, I gotta open up this window. It is a little intense in here. Oh, okay. Pile number three. So stay tuned until the end of the reading. I'm going to be answering any yes or no question that you have based on this card here. So before we get into the channeled love messages from this person to you, Spirit, show me a future vision of this connection that you want Pal 3 to know about and to be aware of. Show me a future vision of this connection between them and this person on their mind. This card right here. So we've got the Seven of Wands. Let me listen. This person is hooked on you, your energy, the way you make them feel. Okay, I'm just giving that as an initial juju vibe, right? I feel like this person isn't going to give up easily. I feel like this person is going to win you back or win you over. If, if they have wandered off into the distance, I'm seeing a future vision of this person coming, calling back, trying to regain your love, your trust, wanting something here about wanting you back, wanting to rekindle things with you, wanting, you know, after a time of not wanting what you wanted, in the future, I see this person wanting it. But you not making it easy on this person, them having to put in the effort. I, okay, this person is going to make the effort that they once did not make in the future. Clarify spirit. I feel like this person, mm -hmm. I'm seeing the image of a runner turning into a chaser. Clarify this energy that I'm getting spirit. And I, I keep hearing coming, crawling back to you. Whether this means y'all have broken up, you haven't heard from them in a while, they're the runner, they're the player, 
they're acting like they don't want what you want, you know, whatever, what have you. But I'm just seeing this image of this person, you know, singing a different tune, you know, you standing on business with this person at one point or another, this may currently be happening, but like you putting your foot down in some way and this person like making the effort that they once did not make, I'm getting that very strong and there's something to it for this eight of pentacles to be here which is the card of effort of putting in the the time and the energy that is required to get what it is that you want and it's confirmed again with this ten of pentacles here something here about effort after quite possibly rejecting you The tables are going to turn in this connection. And I feel like this person is going to go from you chasing them to them chasing you. Now, what happens beyond that is different for all of y'all. And we can always look at that in the future. But clarify spirit even more. Mm, justice. Yeah, the tables are going to turn. For some of you, a small sliver of you in this, in this pal... A lot of y'all, y'all gonna find love elsewhere. Somebody else, like, it's giving very much so one man's trash is another man's treasure or woman. Take what resonates. But, and then this person trying to, like, win you back or something like that. The tables are gonna turn. That's the bigger message. And this person is gonna go from runner to chaser at one point or another in the future. And it's gonna regret giving you some sort of a minuscule love offer. Some sort of a... Uh, A love offer that that wasn't. Let me listen. I mean, obviously, this is breadcrumbing energy, but there's something in particular with this page of Pentacles. Let me listen. I feel like this person acted like they were too good for you at one point or another, whether it was in this this blatant way or this subtle way, by way of them like entertaining other options or yada yada yada. But there was something that it's like you this person tried to play you but the tables are going to turn and i see this person finding out that they've only played themselves by playing such foolish foolish games with you and your heart and i feel like this the tables are going to turn you are going to have options you are going to be the one like that's going to have the choice to make on on whether you want to be with them or not like <laughs> the tables are going to turn I'm hearing, we could have had it all. Oh, Rolling in the tea. You had my heart. In hey, I love Adele, don't you? That's my girl, okay? Rolling in the deep by Adele. And I'm thinking about how Adele, like her man played her, but she turned that into a multi million dollar singing career, honey. Hits on hits on hits. Moved on to a new connection. And we can only imagine what that guy that broke her heart feels as he sees her women. So whether you take this person back or not is, is, is different for all of y'all. If you are not in a situation where y'all are at odds or have broken up or you're dealing with a, a player, you may just want to watch another pile or just on a broader scale. This is talking about, you know, not seeing eye to eye, you know, maybe experiencing a high or low level of unrequited love from this person but I, on the big bigger picture type of level i'm seeing someone you more than likely experiencing this unrequited love your love not being reciprocated your effort not being reciprocated but circumstances are going to change to where the odds are going to be in your favor and the tables are going to turn in this justice type of way to where this person is going to be pining after you regretting hurting you trying to get back into your good graces, wanting to be your man or your woman after a time of trying to be everybody else's woman or, or man. You follow me? But it's not like they, they, they were never like, the feelings weren't ever deep. I feel like they were just like putting themselves first in this selfish energy. And if it hasn't already, it's going to lead you to put up healthy boundaries, firm boundaries even, 
and it may even lead you to another connection where this person is going to be extremely jealous trying to get you back but it's not going to be that easy they're going to have to make a little bit more effort than they did before for some of you they will and for some of you they won't and that'll seal their fate with you but before we move forward spirit tell me a little bit more because it feels like there's something else here you can get karmic justice if this person hurt you broke your heart or you know treated you like you weren't nothing or rejected you like i'm telling you it's getting very much so cardi b when she told dj self like you you're gonna be tight when i'm on that other level you know how he tried to play in her face didn't want to help her and she went she moved on to be very successful find love got married had children i'm telling y'all so for some of y'all y'all sleeping with the enemy and you don't even know it and you you may even be settling for this person and not even knowing it. There may be somebody else who's your divine masculine or even your divine feminine that's going to treat you better than this person. And it's going to be part of this person's karma. Come on now. It's something to it with this star card for me to be getting Adele and, and Cardi B and their, you know, how things played out for them with the men in their life before they blew up. I'm telling you. And look at that. Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is going to be like pining after you. Okay, come on, thing. Yeah, pining after you after putting you on the back burner at one point or another. But if they do, you ain't going to make it easy on them. And based on what they put you through or how they treated you or whatever they did, I don't blame you. For some of y'all, y'all need to know, y'all may be like hung up on this person here may even be in love with them but there y'all got another option if you're open to it i see somebody else coming towards you since this person wants to stay in this king of wands energy this non-committal energy situationship only energy they gonna f around and find out that you done actually stumbled upon your real person your real counterpart and the way they had you waiting is then going to be their experience of them waiting. While you have everything that they didn't want to give you, quite possibly with somebody else. And then for some of you, this person is going to be tight. I feel like this is the whole reading by itself, but let's keep going. Again, if you're not at odds with this person, if this person didn't try to play you at one point or another, or isn't in player energy, it's treating you like the queen or goddess or king that you are, you may just want to watch another pile, but this is what I'm seeing. The table's turning. More effort. This person wanting to make more effort than they once made because things are going to start going better for you on a money level, on a beauty level. You may even have some sort of a glow up. Just know the universe is going to be working behind the scenes to put you in a better position in life. One where this person's going to see you in a new light and may even see your value after a time of devaluing you all together. And you're going to have a choice to make with this justice card representing a head over heart decision. An important decision. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. So what does this person want my power number three to know at this time? This is a timeless reading, by the way. What do they want power number three to know? And I feel like for some of you, this person wants more. They want to work things out. But it may be a little too late or, you know, you, you want to see more action. Let's talk more action. And they may be lacking in that department. And they may be realizing that words just ain't going to be enough. But... Soon, I'm going to contact you soon. This is oh, this is what this person wants you to know that they're planning to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. But they may be afraid of it, with, of reaching out to you for fear of rejection or fear of, you know, looking like they are coming calling back to you after putting you in competition with other people, quite possibly. One of those people may be their ex, their baby mama, or somebody that they were connected to from their past. Give me one more. What does this person want Pal three to know besides the fact that they're planning to reach out to him? They're trying to manifest you is what I'm hearing. But 
you need to make them make more effort or else they're just going to put you in another cycle of you making all the effort. Okay, so for some of you, this person wants to have a family with you, first child or another child with you. It says, I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be an amazing parent, and I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So this person, what this person wants you to know is that Although they turn a blind eye to the, the, their feelings and this connection and what it could be, like they, they do fantasize about what the future would be like with you. And in that future, they do see themselves having that Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles type of experience where like they see you as somebody who is relationship material, who they can settle down with. But they're not ready for commitment. It's like, I'm, I feel like this person wants you to know that y'all want different things from each other. You may want to watch pile number two for more messages and clarification, okay? And you'll know why when you see the synchronicity there. Yeah, but the bigger reason as to why, it's like this person wants to explain themselves, like that they do want something with you, but they that they're not ready. And it's because they feel like they need time to heal. It says right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. This is what they want you to know right now. So what was this person's most recent, what are this person's most recent thoughts of my power number three? Wow. Okay, so people don't believe in me. Now, in my spiritual eye, I saw Please Don't Leave Me. I'm hearing Please Don't Go by Tank. If that applies, that applies. But I am hearing it. People don't believe in me. It's giving very much so when Offset cheated on Cardi B and he posted that picture saying, mm, I miss my grandma. Like, you know, it's like excuses, wanting sympathy type of energy. So I feel like this person wants to like vent to you, wants you to know their like explain their side of things like it's something they're about wanting to explain but they may not know where to start oh my gosh there we go i can't come to you now something here about excuses having trouble expressing themselves mm-hmm for some of you, you're giving them a taste of their own medicine and they ain't liking it. Or you will be and they won't. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. And again, I feel like, again, this person daydreams about you, thinks about you a lot more than you realize, than you know. It says, I am stuck in visions of us together. My life is a mess right now. How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? And there's some sort of a synchronicity with that mess. Like this person feels like they effed up. This current, there's this person's current thought is surrounding something that they feel like they messed up, like that they that they did wrong, some sort of a mistake that they've made. Regret surrounding some sort of a mistake that they've made. Excuse me, wanting to explain their side of it. You know, wanting to have the, you know, talk talk about something that they were once closed off about with you, as a way to save the connection or in hopes of you taking them back. If that applies, but let's keep going. So, shifting gears a little bit before we get into the channel love messages. What turns this person on the most when my pile number three crosses their mind? Now, I thought it was important to add this. Or just cool, nonetheless, to add it. Because when your name pops up or when the visual of you pops up in this person's head, I want you to know, like, what stands out the most to them when that happens. Okay? So you know how they see you. All right. So what turns this person on the most on a physical type of level when Pal 3 pops up in their head? Something about your hair. 
For some of you, y'all always keep y'all hair looking good. But like how you always keep yourself together, like you never look a mess <laughs> for that mess word to keep popping out. And again, for some of you, this might be your baby daddy or somebody who wants to get you pregnant, who, who just who really does see themselves having a family with you, settling down with you. And they may even fantasize about getting you pregnant or what you would look like pregnant. You know, may even be trying to manifest an opportunity to trap you, you know, because they don't want you to move on to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Your face and your hair. It's like when you pop up in their head, they think about like how pretty you are and how your hair is always like looking good and it's just how you're always put together how feminine you are and the way that you dress as well with this fashion and stuff okay so let's get into these channel love messages from this person on your mind now i'm just going to read off the messages if additional channeled messages pop up in between, I'll let you know. But if not, we'll just see what's on the cards, okay? So our pretty energy. What are the channeled love messages to power three from this person on their mind? Please unblock me. Yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. That's for some of you. Now, this could be a literal blocking of their number or you just being closed off. And again, with this calling you from an unknown number, like they, they plan to reach out to you, but they're hoping that you're going to be receptive. Truth is, I'm in love with you. Oh, my goodness. It was easier to lie than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all back. Do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. Mm. Dang. Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all may want to watch count number two. This is confirmation that for some of you, you are dealing with your twin flame. Not for all of you, though. Because there is a such thing as a false twin flame. Do your research. Okay, so tell me more. So with that twin flame, there's something here about like this person feeling like y'all are meant to be together. It says, I have abandonment issues. I grew up in a single parent household. I had a rough childhood. So I feel like this person is doing a lot of like introspective type of thinking as a result of what's currently going on in this connection. I'm going through a lot right now. I need space and time to gather my thoughts. I fucked up. I don't know what to say to you or how to make this right. And you picked up on that earlier, remember? I want a second chance. Not being with you is killing me. So for a lot of you, you've already started putting these boundaries in place. Kudos for you. And I feel like now this person wants to spin the block. It says, I tried to replace you, but it didn't work. But it didn't work out because I'm madly in love with you and I was fighting it. I know this is divine. I'm planning, wait, I'm planning a romantic date or we can Netflix and chill like old times. I want to cook for you, no strings. So yeah, this person wants you, but have they changed a lot? They want to, but wanting and doing is two different things. If you were also drawn to pal number one, please watch it. Karmic partner interference. So for some of you, you need to know, this person wants you to know that the third party still is in the picture, like just on an honest level. It's like, and yes, they were cheating. It's kind of like this coming clean type of energy, wanting you to just like forgive them. But again, I don't see a lot of change here. 
It says, I've been putting on a front. My life is not what it seems on the outside. <clears throat> I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it is so beautiful in the 5D. I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was scared of commitment and didn't want to lose my freedom. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. I'm hearing spirits say, does this person really feel bad for what they've done or do they just not want to see you move on? You've got to think about that. I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. I feel like this person has attachment issues. Mm -hmm. and for a lot of you, like they just, they, they want to get in your pants as a way to prove that you still want them. I miss making love to you. I want to do anything. I will do anything just to hold you again. You are so smart. You have me figured out. One more. <laughs> Final message. This isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me. We have unfinished business. Boy, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know some of y'all were thinking that. But... Those are your messages, pal number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. That way it can be passed around to other people who need the messages. And subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can be notified when I drop new content. Now, my baby started crying at the perfect moment. So I got to go check on her in a second. But think about any question on your mind. And I'll let you know yes or no in a second. Okay, <laughs> I gotta go get her, y'all. We've got Flower Child. It says momentum, creativity, and action. This is a yes. And don't worry, y'all. She just woke up from her nap. She does that. It's like her announcement. Like, girl, I'm awake now. Give me all of your attention. <laughs> but the answer to your question is yes. Yes, honey. All right. And be sure to check out my other reading on the channel that details what this person wants to happen next between the two of y'all, it'll be linked in the description or the comment section, all right? And then once again, watch the other pals if you were drawn to them. Bye, pal three. I'm coming.